Good morning. What I'm going to try to do now is uh, not show you how to load uh, or how to set your press up, but how things step through. This is a standard RCBS screen machine set up for 38357 Magnum. There were hundreds of thousands of these made. All right, I've sold quite a few of these machines on eBay, and I'm getting them a lot of questions back as to how you might change the caliber, let's say, to a 40 Smith & Wesson, which, by the way, RCBS never offered that as a conversion. They offered uh, 9 millimeter, 44 Magnum, and 45 uh, 1911 45 type. So, and I have converted these uh, numerous times. So the first thing is understand that as this machine works, it simply steps through, it moves each case to the right one step. All right, and uh, on these transfer uh, bars, they're, they're all set up the same as far as I see. Now, I may be wrong. Another thing you're going to know, find out, is that on a 40, the case itself The recess here for the extractor to fit into is big enough and deep enough that it will allow it to set in the standard 38357 rails. Works perfect. You do not have to have the beveled 45 degree rails that our CBS sold for like the nines and uh, well at that time that was the only only cartridge they sold for the nine millimeter. Now the 9mm of course is totally different from the 40 as far as the case configuration. Now what I'm trying to do here is run this out of primers which I just did. Okay. And uh, I want to empty the primer feed and shut off the powder and everything and get ready so I can show you how it works on a 40, how it'll transfer the cases. So the powder's out of gear. I'm going to finish these two cartridges. <clears throat> now, I'm going to shut this off for a second and put some uh, 40 cases in the uh, case feeder. So now I'm back with 8 or 10 uh, 40s loaded in the same drop tube as the 38357. And I've backed the uh, carbide sizing die, the 38 die out of the way so it won't hit anything. And I'm not going to actually pull the handle all the way down because I still have the, uh, the 38 uh, powder feed die in. So here we go. We'll just operate the lever to show you that they actually transfer. So there's one. And they transfer nicely right over. Now they may not eject quite right because there's no lead in them, but they actually even eject. So here we are transferring the 40s. So this shows you that the existing transfer bar and transfer rails work fine from a standard 38357. Thank you. All right, here we go. Uh, this is a Lee powder through die in a 40 caliber and uh, so the first thing you do I've been getting some inquiries the first thing on adjustment so the first thing you can do is you can run this die down uh, to where it 
just barely peeks through the bottom. And that's pretty much how the RCBS, the original die, worked. Now, I'm not real high on their locking rings with the rubber grommet. And personally, uh, I would tighten it down and then tap it to where it it's actually is setting on something besides the rubber die because you don't want the little the little dandy powder rotor rotor moving sideways. So anyway, we got we got this kind of just set in there now. And of course, by the way, you do have the ability to lock it whenever you get through doing your adjustment, which negates this ring altogether. All right, now Here's the adapter that I made, which has a uh, locking ring on it, a locking nut. And I also cut uh, flats on it so you can use a half inch wrench to hold it, to lock it to, in, etc. So nevertheless, the, um, the main difference in the RCBS powder through and the Lee is the Lee, the part that actually does the case mouth flare, is floating so it runs up and down until it hits the bottom of their stop. So this is a piece I've machined. It simply threads in and like so. So I stop right there and I'll drop a case in the case feeder and move it over and size it, move it over and Put a primer in it. I'm not priming it, of course. But and by the way, the the primer uh, with the standard 38 setup, I didn't adjust any of the rails, uh, and they feed perfectly. Okay, so now I'm just going to come down like you normally would. I'm going to back everything up so nothing hits. Okay, now the press is all the way down, and you can adjust the die, the amount of uh, bell you put on your case by either adjusting the lead die down or this adapter. Simply adjust it down like so uh, until it hits like so. And then of course you know you have your own rules. A quarter of a turn usually gives me the, the flare I want. Uh, so you know you can go with that or wh whatever you choose to do. Now the next thing is that you have to worry about lining up are the the rotor cam pins which let me see let me try to get those in the picture okay you can just barely see them up here and also, uh, you'll notice this black hanging down here. Okay, that's adjustment up and down for this rod that trips and, and rotates the cam. So between this up and down and this up and down, you, you have any adjustments you want. And of course, this powder rotor will set on there like so. And lock your Allen sets down when you get ready. And in a minute, when I get this all set up, I'll, I'll continue. All right, everything's in place and everything's locked down. It's plenty firm. As you can see, I'm actually moving my rotary table. And when you come down now, uh, I don't know if you can see the uh, rotor pins up in there but the first one's engaged it comes down picks up the second one perfectly goes down does a complete powder dump goes back up no binding so this is functioning just exactly like it should if you see the little black dot on the the rotor here it's it's moving everything is great all right now i'm going to go ahead and hook up the next station which I made this adapter uh, for a 40 and it has the little retainer spring in it that will keep the bullet from falling all through so what's going to happen now is that will be inserted 
in the die and uh, we'll take it from there just a minute all right as you can see now um, I have the uh, bullet seating unit in place and there's the new 40 made for it uh, as you pull the lever of course it operates just like it it always does it cams down comes back up allows you to put a bullet in cam it down and back up now this this die I'm not gonna put it all the way down but this is your this is the type die that I like to use for my final crimp I use this station only to start my bullet now you can you can do it the conventional way if you want but it puts a lot of pressure on this seating unit that's why people consider this to be the weakest link in the whole machine if you use this center stage this third station just to start the bullet into the case mouth push it in an eighth or a quarter of an inch and then use this die to both crimp it and do the final seating then you'll probably never break one of these so and this is what I'm talking about it's uh, many different companies make it this is a Hornaday but it does it does both the uh, taper crimp or the and the final seating by adjusting this top adjustment but anyway it's just there just to show you what it does All right now let me get I, I'm I really am sorry to say believe it or not I only have one lead 40 caliber bullet I loaded up I thought every one I had before I sold my green machine 40 caliber press and luckily enough I found one to use uh, to make this this movable uh, unit inside the uh, third station die be back in a minute okay here we go and uh, hopefully you'll be able to see all of this okay and uh, Don't forget, I only have one lowly bullet. So, operate the press as normal. Out comes your first case. You size it. Primer in. Down again. Expels the mouth of the case. Dumps the powder through the new powder through die, the Lee die. Top cup again. Drop your bullet in, and you probably can see it. I've got a very long bullet die here because I shoot uh, full wad cutter, double-ended wad cutters in my Smith & Wesson Model 52, and it has to hang down this far. So anyway, the bullet is in there. As you see, it stops. It doesn't fall out. Pull the lever again. It seats it, and uh-oh. down again and out it comes down again and you just drop your bullet in each time and that's how it'll work And by the way, what happened where it hung up is I had been setting the the flare on this case. The first one I set, I had a I didn't have the 40 die yet. It hadn't come in through the mail, so I was using a 45. And what it did is it put a huge uh, bevel on the edge, and it was big enough because I was using a 45 that the the base of the 40 went down inside of it a little bit so it couldn't come out of the feed so that's about it um if you have any questions uh give me an email it's adam a-d-a-m dot nap k-n-a-p-p -P, at j-u-n-o dot com adam dot nap at juno dot com thanks for watching